vans up on there. This explore takes place at a hotel in Wartrace, Tennessee that has seemingly been abandoned for a few years. It has a reputation for being haunted. I had tried to get a hold of the owner a few years back to see if they still allow for paranormal investigations but was not able to reach anyone. That is when I found out the hotel had been closed. I had forgotten about the place but had passed by it on trips to Bedford County. I also forgot the exact history of the place during my visits, but here is a brief history. It was built in 1917 as a railroad hotel by Jesse and Nora Overall. They eventually sold the place to Floyd and Olive Carruthers. Floyd was a professional horse trainer. He had purchased a horse he called Strolling Jim who would go on to win first place in many walking horse competitions and became the world grand champion walking horse. Strolling Jim would live his life out in the pasture behind the hotel and eventually would be buried there. George Knight, who owned the hotel during the 1980s and 90s, states the hotel is haunted by horse trainer Floyd Carruthers. Others have claimed to have heard the sound of a horse or horses. So perhaps Strolling Jim makes his presence known as well. The hotel was purchased in 2007 by musician Joe Peters. He opened a music hall on the first floor of the hotel and named it Chase Music Hall in honor of his wife who had passed away. He allowed for paranormal investigations at the hotel. He had mentioned that he had felt his wife's presence in the hotel and he thinks she came through via a captured EVP. She had felt a bond with the place before Joe had purchased it. The voices of children have been captured as well as a shadow figure and an apparition of a woman outside. He eventually put the hotel up for sale. It appears to be in limbo. With halted renovations, it sits abandoned. The Wraith Chasers had done a brief night investigation during the time the hotel had already been closed. There is the claim that a girl named Emily fell off a balcony outside a room on the third floor to her death and haunts that room. They also claim that a room number 203 on the second floor is considered the demon room and that perhaps a dark entity inhabits that room. You will see the two times I had stopped by the abandoned hotel with Marty, which ends up turning into an urban explorer with interest in any possible supernatural occurrences. As always, I do this with complete respect for the property and its contents. I didn't try to figure out what any of the voices that I noticed were captured may have said since I wanted to keep this as an explore video but feel free to try and figure out what was said and or debunk them as outside contamination or something explainable. Well, he moved this business to Murfreesboro. I eventually want to try that place. The owner, Joe. Look at these fans. And the light. The hotel entrance is on the side. Is it? Oh wow, big bumblebees, wood bees. And these used to not be here. These here in the last few years, these were put in. Oh, this is where the music hall was, too. Yeah, this deck looks newer. The last few years. Stairs right there.
bugs and fleas and ticks all over me. Ooh, looks like there's an opening down here. Uh-oh, it's gonna pour. It's like underneath the house, or the hotel, right here. Uh, oh no, there's a way to get into the hotel from in here. Not that I'm gonna try. Oh, look at these growing up through here. Oh, see how sturdy this is. Or not. Oh. Whoa. That was a little loose there. The walkway. Got bees coming at me. Oh, there's a cable here. Well, something's running down. I think it's birds. Do this adjacent. Uh, Core port. We can go right in here. Take a quick look. Looks like they refurbished it or something. Wow. Oh shit. <laughs> Somebody's backfiring car. Yeah, this is the hotel. Well, they really gutted it in here. I guess they're. Gonna remodel into something else. But the floors are still old. Kinda nice. And bangs are ready in here. Wow. This is like a hotel room. You can see from the light fixture up there. These would be hotel rooms, big rooms, considering. Yeah, a lot of remodeling going on here. Now oh, look at these units. Looks like for serious washing. Industrial. All right, well, I'll go downstairs and go all around, but here are stairs going up. Better go back out. Yep. All right. That's the inside of the hotel. I could go further, but although I could probably go through it. 
Yeah, I doubt he's gonna let me do investigating here. Under those circumstances, he's got going. Ooh, that thunder. We got a storm coming our way. Ding, ding, oh, railroad. Railroad's coming through War Trace. They're refurbing, they're gutted everything, uh, remodeling the place. A lot of construction in there. Below here is where a possible woman spirit figure was captured in 2010. Go through. Now we didn't go on this level. This is the first floor, I guess. You got your rook going? Yeah. yeah. It's got a little bit of activity. Alrighty, look at that. You and that going here. I heard a voice. Okay. Now, looks like they were going to uh, go ahead this one spot here for reception and stuff. I think it's going to be the music hall area or something. Well, it's this say music hall. 
Anything spirits with us here? Yes. I guess there are spirits with us here. Look at that. Nice. Oh, look at it down this way. Bathroom area. This is a nice old uh, clock here. Look at that. You could put things inside there. Wow, that's beautiful. It's nice. Look at this old phone. <laughs> I know it's hard to see. Awesome. In here. Here's the front door area. If you were standing outside, that's what you would see. If you go upstairs, should we finish the other side or just go upstairs? It's all up to you. Let's go around the other parts here. Okay, so we're in here, right? Yes. Look at those big mirrors here. You see the nice little work on the floor? Yeah, it's real nice. The guy who currently still owns this place, his wife really loved this place and wanted to buy it and he went to fix it up and all. And as he was doing all that, she picked, she died. She wasn't an old woman. She, I don't know, it was cancer. So it was a tragic ending for a minute for her. And that just took everything away from him wanting to stay here. It was just too much upkeep without her. So that's a sad story. Joe had purchased the hotel several months after the passing of his wife, Chase. She had felt a bond with the hotel when they had visited. Joe could feel her spirit in connection to the building. And according to an episode of My Ghost Story, her spirit made contact with him at the hotel. Do some music in here. Welcome to the Walking Horse Haunted Hotel. We're so glad you could join us. Come and do some music on our stage. You're cheating hard. Thank you for coming to the Walking Horse Hotel. Thank you so much in our music hall. Let's see what's back here. Backstage. Backstage. Oh, they have a piece of the backstage piece and uh, they have some equipment, cables and stuff in it. Boy, that's not a lot of space, is it? No, not a lot of space. Space is the place. With the Sonora Orchestra. Turn on this side. Here. Oh, another entranceway. Oh, I remember that. The music hall entranceway. Go back down. How's the uh, roof doing there? It's quiet right now. It's quiet. Uh, a little bit. Looks like some damage right here. Look at that spillage. Mirrors. There are mirrors. Now, if we look through this part here, a little popcorn machine. Or, yeah, that's that music hall part to enter from. I look above you with the lighting, the drop ceiling lighting. I saw that when we came in. And then you notice the uh, bar. Mm hmm. Come on, drink. I look, they didn't have Music Fest 2011, 2014. Yep, this was definitely the Working Horse Hotel advertisements for concerts. Somebody was mopping, they stopped mopping. All right. The 
gave up. And this right here lifts There's a up big hole in the ceiling over there. This lifts up to probably put like equipment and it's, uh, you know, run cables and stuff, probably for the music. Audio. Yeah, I see that big hole there. And that's why I see the uh, insulation on the floor here. They must have gone up to fix the leak. There's yeah. uh, this water on the floor there. Yeah, that's the water on the floor there. It got to it. Because there's nothing above it. They must have fixed it. Now lit from AC. All right, a little darker back in here. Yeah. And uh, I think we did most of everything else down here, right? Yep, we can go up now. Go on up. Come on up to the top. Ooh, there's activity here. Yeah. Yep, I see some. Oh yeah, as we get closer here. Well, yeah. whoever's with us. My name is James. That's Marty with me here, my wife. We're together, we're a duo, a dynamic duo, and we're just uh, checking out the hotel. We really like it. We're glad we're able to come inside. Mm -hmm. So we both can get into trouble if we get caught. <laughs> also... Uh, but the cat has extra food, so we'll be okay. So if you want to speak with us, show yourself in any way, make a sound, we welcome that. These steps are all new. Yeah, they really put, I think it was all put to a halt, whatever they were doing in here. So here's the second floor. I did walk through some of this. This is where I entered through the last time. I just heard something. I did too. Might be an animal. Definitely musty smell in here, like old. No, it smells like construction. Definitely smells like construction too. Look at this on the floor here. It looks like in the shape of a cross. And it's all dirt. That's weird. Look at that. I mean, somebody could have swept into a shape of a cross here, but. Or, or had a cross like accident? Yeah. <laughs> that did cross my mind, but. Oh, good, good one. I guess this is supposed to be the bathroom. Yeah. It's definitely one of the hotel rooms. Remote on the floor. But that's for the air. But yeah, this would be a bathroom. Yeah. So there's probably a bunch of these in here. Now, one of these rooms, I don't know if it was the second floor or third floor, where a girl, a ghost of a girl, supposedly haunts this place. I feel like I remember the words, the number 16, so it could have been 116 or 216. Slight activity here. Is there? Little girl, are you around here? Now, if you look up there, see those? That's the old type of, I guess, venting of the room for air. That's old school style. So we'll have that one still intact right up there. Oh. One of the Wraith Chasers got to come in here at night for a little bit. A couple of years ago, maybe. So yeah, little girl spirit. Any spirits in this hotel, come on around and speak with us. We'd appreciate it. Show yourself in any way. And of course, make any sounds you want. Now look in here where they could see the beginning of what would be the new look of the hotel. With that uh, lighting yes. fixture. This bathroom is and, and this bathroom is finished. Like just about Almost. finished here. Yeah, this is the new look. There's a lot of old wood in the walls. Oh yeah, look at the ceiling above. Look at that old wood. And on those sides. Definitely old. Very old. That would take forever to restore. And of course these floors. Which way were we going? This way. This way. Right. Oh 
Hello. This one's getting almost done. Oh, well, we got an AC piece. That would be what you were looking at before. That's what they're installing. Oh, look, this door's open up here. That leads to the balcony, but I don't want to go out in the balcony and be seen. Look at this. It looks like a bullet hole. Doesn't it? Wow. That is a bullet hole. Really? Yeah. Unless it's a BB gun or something, but I think it's... Well, wouldn't it shatter the... Wouldn't a bullet shatter the glass? Yeah, you would think so. So, I don't know. Maybe it was a BB or something, but something along those lines. Wow. Here. The rook's going... Oh, yeah. The rook is going. Who's there, here with there. us? It's right there. Who's here? If you speak and we don't hear you, that's okay. We're trying to communicate with you. Just know we're going to listen back and hopefully hear your voice. Oh, okay. Well, keep, just follow us around. Next level, which we'll do in a second. I always want to see what's in here. Another room, I guess. And here's the sleeping. Oh, they kept uh, old doors. Look at the old doors and stuff. Ooh, it smells like old doors. <laughs> they do. Well, let's let you know this place is old, even though it's changed with the refurbishing and all. Still old. Bathroom they were dead in here. Alright, let's go on up. Next level. Okay. Right, it's cracky. Up. It's cracky? Want me to go first? Yeah. And probably the light person goes first, right? Fine with that. Cigarette on the floor. Nails. Wasp nest. Wasp nest. Wasp nest. Yes. Okay. Don't fuck it. Yeah, there is one on the floor, big one. Third floor, here we are. More hotel room space. Accommodations. Ooh, a lot of spider webs up in this part. Look at that. Wow. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, this one's still oh, it's in the middle of refurbishing as well. They really gutted the place first. Flies. Wow, look at that. It's a like, fly grave. It's like the Amityville Horror House. Well, the movie version. There is some wasps too. I'm stepping on them all over. They must have done a... Yeah, some kind of pesticide... Uh, mm. Fumigation. Fumigation, yeah. Yeah, that woman's still sitting there. And everything. <laughs> on her phone, I can see. Oh. Train. Train coming. Coming around the bend. How Don't cool would that be to live in a hotel where you can hear the train? Yeah, I'm a good boy. Okay. All right, enough time in this room. Let's move on. I mean, it's basically going to be like this in all the rooms. Look, this one has curtains on it still. Or they added them. Mm -hmm. 
recent time. That looks old. You can see just that that has a that little looks look original. To it. That looks original. Definitely older looking. Pretty nice. Pretty spooky. It's uh it looks like it's seen some cigarette smoke. Yeah, maybe they allowed smoking back then. Oh here's some more um Bugs? Dead bugs. Big old waspy things. Oh, it's a bumblebee. They must have fumigated the entire place. Oh, yeah. This one might be still alive, like a big horse fly right down because it's not upside down. I would uh, keep away from that one. It's scary looking. They wow, there's some big bumblebees here. I know you really can't see that on camera here. It's you much bigger. Ask their spirits if they want to talk to you. Yeah, any bumblebee spirits want to talk to me? Do you think the pink insulation is uh, fiberglass? Yes, it is. Yeah. We should get out. That's not a, what do you think, asbestos? The fiberglass? Oh, oh I, no. I was thinking asbestos, yes. Yeah. Sorry, fiberglass. I just had a moment of... Of panic. <laughs> Confused panic. Closet space. Confusion-induced yeah. panic, although that looks very asbestos-y. Over there. That looks, that, very, that looks very asbestos -y. I'm sure that we're removing all that. I think it'll be all right. What's in here? Another room. Spirits, come on through. Come on through, spirits. I heard a little ticky sound in here. Who's with us? Whoa. There's sounds above. Unless it's uh, rain coming down. The beginning of rain. If you look up, you should see be able to see the roof, right? Up here? Well, up there, maybe. There's a hole up there. Yeah, I'm looking, I was looking up there. There's some sounds that are coming through now. It could be animals. It could be pigeons and stuff. Yeah, it could be Birds. pigeons. Pigeons will make noises, though. They can't help themselves, especially when they sense something. Look at, uh, oh, they have a laundry area. Oh, it's laundry? Well, there's a washer. Mm. And maybe that's Seems a dryer. Seems a little premature. <laughs> well, I guess you could say there were... Uh, this is a strange... It was a strange... They were expecting a... Priority list of what yeah, they did the and what they didn't. Yeah, they, But it could have been based on... Uh, they got a deal. They said, well, let's just get it now. Probably. For the appliances. For some of them. Look at the floor. Oh, this is original floor right here. This is the way it was. Could have been a kitchen, maybe? Like a linoleum kind of thing on the ground here. Well, it's not original, original. There's wood, no. wood underneath. Yeah, the wood's all, that's original stuff there, but this is still old, the linoleum. Could be from the 70s, 60s, 50s. Is that a wasp? Oh, there's a wasp right there. There's a, there are two wasp nests. Stay away. The, there, yeah. there, I see wasps. There's wasps up there. There definitely is. There's three wasp nests. There are. And there are wasps in them. Four. I see four. It's okay. It's not like uh, yes, but killer there's, bees. There's nowhere to run if they attack you. We're, we're locked inside. Oh my god. I'm in fear. Fear for my life. Oops. Did you hear that? I wasn't planning on replaying any clip moments, but this one was worth repeating. I'm in fear. Fear for my life. Oops. Did you hear that? Fear for my life. Ooh. Did you hear that? Yes, it was a car that Screech. screeched, yes. That was scary. The sound of the screeching car. Yes, in incredibly dangerous. A lot of stuff stored in here, in this room. Hey look, there's a door but no walls. <laughs> It's yeah. funny. Oof, I heard a little moving back there. Come in, shifting. Anybody in the room with us? Any spirit? Oh! What? Wallpaper. Oh, and here has the curtain too, the old curtain. Just, just look at in here real quick. This looks like 50s wallpaper. Area, I guess. 
Let's see from the ball bag. Oh, I'm getting activity. Getting activity? The shower back here. No more scratching. Oh, shifting on the floor. Where'd you get activity? Mm. Right here. Oh, yeah. But look at that wallpaper. Oh, that's a different wallpaper. Than that's we saw. so cool. Wow. Look at that. There's another one. Some screechy speed demons yeah, out here. Yeah, hopefully it's not people, you know, trying to get to this us? place to get us out of here. Could be. <laughs> Not the one across from Carol if we went in. Okay, we're gonna go down the, on this side. We didn't do this one, did we? Oh, yes, we that's, the, that's the wasp room. Wasp room, you're afraid of. And then this one, a quick look. So we put some hearts on the windows and the dust. And dirt and grime. If that can come through or not. I'd like to walk in the balcony, but I'm not going to do that. Yes, that would be a little obvious. Yeah. All right, so where was the, uh, that room with the wallpaper again? This one. In here. Oh yeah, what's in this room? Just walked right out. I don't know what this dug up part here is on the floor. Yeah, look at that. Uh, here's a different wallpaper. It looks like um... another section. A little boy's wallpaper because it has. Oh, yeah. I, th I think I see cars and. Uh, yeah, it's. Race car drivers. It's Look right up at the top there, yeah. Get this car and be one. The Hilson Company, Southwest something, First Avenue. Frog in your throat. Frog in your throat. <laughs> All right. I think I heard a dog bark outside. So let's uh, see if we can get out of here. All right, let's go back down. And we're going to find that one entrance where we came out of. Yes. Careful, don't slip. Yeah. Oh, there's a chandelier. Spirits, we're going to be getting ready to leave, so if you want to say anything, hopefully you come through for us. This is interesting. Yeah. Does this mean that there used to be... I wonder. Oops, sorry. Uh, glass here? No. It's weird. It's just it a little... strange. I think to hold on to, but it's an opening down below. It's so open. That is added. Uh, Something got changed there, maybe there was Interesting something. design. Maybe there was a stair or something down there at one time, they closed it off. Maybe. There's something in the fridge. Is there? You should eat it. Besides the sun drink? Let's see. Ooh, that looks... A little spooky. It looks like it, looks like it was cracker. It looks like... It was a cracker thing. Maybe. Death by found object. There's like two crackers left in it. Let's go. Well, made it easy. Easy peasy. That's what we do. Fuck it up. And uh, there we go. We did want to go out in these balconies, but at the same time we didn't because we knew that would be a bad idea to go out there. Appetize. Woohoo! Yeah, look. We're in here. We're in here. We. No. <laughs> They still have the horses here, though. 
out front. There's the horses. So let me stop this. Do you want to stop this? Alright, here I am. Spooky's Pizza. Figured it's time to check this place out. Ordered a nice extra large pizza. Zombie feast. Let's check it out. Here's my traditional hand-tossed, extra-large, zombie feast pizza. Check that out. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, that looks good, huh? I know you want some of that. Mmm, mmm. I also got little parmesan cheese for the side there and I actually also got I couldn't help it how to get their t-shirt let me see masks are for Halloween I agree pretty nice next to place I'm gonna go eat it so I did talk with the owner's son who was in here at Spooky's Pizza is it Joe the owner, the one who owns, I think still owns the hotel. Uh, but I asked him about the War Trace location. He goes, yeah, he worked there too with his dad. But he said that they had him in a different pizza place name before that. So I guess they've been in the pizza business for some time. There were some other name iterations they had and none of them did as well as Spookies. But yeah, this is where they are now. I didn't really go into the hotel with them. He was kind of busy, so. But yeah, so I did meet his son for a second. So I'm gonna be leaving Murfreesboro in a sec. Head on home.